What is going on, lunatics? Guys, sometimes it's not sustainable because those pumps happen and then those dumps happen. But here we are. Uh, we had a little bit of a retracement. That zero came back on, went back off over and over again as the market uh, is setting itself to soar. However, we went up to three zeros 11, which is exactly what we predicted a couple days ago, that that would be that impulse move. We're going to look at all that and more. Stick around. Make sure you hit the like button on your way in. Subscribe if you like it. If you don't like it, make sure you subscribe to me so that you can talk mad shit about me in the comment section down below. Lil, um, let's go. All right, so uh, first up, let's talk about Elbun Project real quick. <coughs> Base Token has an order book out, and there's going to be a front end upgrade coming. Uh, this is a uh, this is kind of the new. Uh, this is the old part right here, but I do have some images that you'll be able to see of the new front end coming up very very soon. As a matter of fact, let me pop this up on screen. That's what the new order book is going to look like. So that's just a sneak peek. Uh, but guys, if you are looking to trade. Uh, Luna Classic, and you want to set order buys, or if you want to do it in the entire Cosmos ecosystem, Elbun is going to be able. Uh, it's going to be the place for you to do it. That's orderbook.elbunproject.tech/orderbook. So, uh, if you are looking, then you can absolutely do it. You set the price that you want, how much you want to buy, uh, how much you want to do, and then you just set it, and then there'll be active orders. So when you uh, reach a certain level, then you'll just automatically buy. And that's your way to accumulate more Luna Classic at a discounted price, if in fact it comes down to that discounted price. So, uh, that, and by the way, very important for you to be able to do in any ecosystem, coming to Luna Classic is a big thing. Moving on. All right, so um, is a dollar in sight? No, it is not. Uh, but we're getting closer and closer and closer. I'm going to show you why. It's slow, but it, it's happening. But we had a 19% increase to, it really was about 23% up to um, uh, three zeros 11, but has not maintained that because the rest of the market, we're down on the the, the day after a 200 and something after a 200 billion dollar day we're down about 120 billion as we speak so uh you know just a lot of profit taking uh if you follow me on x if you if you don't you should uh, it's at believes crypto but if you haven't um then you might have missed it but i said you know u.s market's going to come online and they're just going to suck the liquidity out of the market because that's what the u.s market does we're not ready for that super move yet uh but we're getting there we're getting closer and closer and closer so um but anyway, uh, we had a nice little spike. We had a nice little move. Uh, let's put a pin in that. We'll talk about it in just a second. No new requests up here in, Co in Commonwealth. Meme coins down just a little bit on the day. Remember, we were having a nice little surge, uh, but that surge has not been maintained. Just a few bucks, by the way. It's not it's not huge, but you know, uh, a few bucks here and there. So now price down just a little bit. Okay, so now to price. Um, you know, let's talk about this right here would be an indication right there of a real impulse move. So if we took that and we said, well, you know, this is our spot here and we'll impulse move that right there, then where did we come to? Well, we came back down into the golden zone. Uh, we came back down for a secondary test and then what happened? We broke out, came back to the top. Exactly what I told you was gonna happen, right? Now, the, the next step is what comes next? Well, we came back down into the golden zone and uh, we're on the one hour, as you can see, we're just kind of ranging halfway in between the 50 and the 200, which to me means that we're probably going to have a little downward momentum, maybe even back down for that test. But it would make perfect sense here that we get bought up right here at this 98 range and then sweep back up here and start to break out. Now, that is on the one hour. So uh, it looks like the reversal is in, but with these wicks coming down like that and the continued downward sort of pressure... We don't know yet because the market, we don't really know how the U.S. market is going to react around midday. We're about four hours away from that midday uh, at the time of recording this. So I don't know yet whether we're going to pump or we're going to dump for the day. Logic would dictate a little bit of a dump in a corrective period. Historically, same thing. It would be you know a little corrective period right here, three or four days before the next leg up. So let's move to daily. Now, as you can see on the daily, really just the same thing, uh, but let's get that out of there and let's look at this broader sort of range here and let's kind of zoom out just a little bit and get sort of an idea of, you know, what is going on? Where are we uh, up compared to where we should be? So we could actually come down here into this 95 range. If we were to do that, by the way, golden cross just happened. If you look at this right here, this is the first day 
of the golden cross. So um, that means that the 50 has crossed over the 200, which means really it's just, it, it, remember this is a lagging indicator. What it's telling you basically is that for an extended period of time, the current price has been in an upward trajectory. That's all it is. So uh, we've got the golden cross symbolizing that we've kind of not completed a move, but we're in a bullish pattern. So now for that to play out, what we're going to need to see is a little bit of a push back up here to finish off this move at 11.5. Then we'll get another rejection uh, and it would look like up into the Donald Trump has won the 2024 election and will be your president, the first pro-crypto president. Bitcoin currently trading at around $87,000. This is the ideal moment for effective management of your own investment portfolio. Since 2019, cryptonomy has experienced exponential and substantial growth with revenue closing near 2.4 billion euros and insurance coverage of up to 6.1 billion on all company assets. Now listen guys, the big move here for me, in my fixed staking pool, I'm going to go all in on a little bit more XRP. I've got 5,900 XRP right now. I'm going to go into the nine month for 71% return. We're going to continue. We stake close to 6,000 XRP just now with a 71.8% return over nine months. This launch pool is blowing up. As you can see right here, open serve just went 7x getting a significant yield off of that. We got 1.9 on Satoshi Dex. We had a 2.58 on Tap Protocol, 2.1 on Talent, 3.1 on Cross. All right, guys, we're going 10 Ethereum into a bronze tier contract end date November 12, 2025. I expect to make a return of at least a decent amount, 50% profit sharing. When we got that last one, it was 7X. So I'm going to assume here that this is going to be a real good play. If you haven't already, don't forget myself, Dean DCA, Clay. Lift Capital, Aaron Burke, we're all doing articles uh, for this organization. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about cryptocurrency, then this is the place to go. You want to go to cryptonomy.finance slash research. Also, if you haven't already, sign up for their Telegram. The links are in the descriptions down below. And in the next two weeks, there's going to be a couple of big updates brought to you by all of us regarding cryptonomy. Dot finance. Start investing now. This 11.5 range and then probably a test back down here. We might be getting that test right now and we might be seeing that reversal, but uh, it is on and on to the next little ranges here with the ultimate goal to be up here. By the way, remember the golden ratio that we talk about all the time in this short term playout, that golden ratio actually falls right in with the target right here between 16,450 and 18,677. So it's not I it's not a coincidence that the places that I'm telling you we're going to go is exactly what's kind of projecting itself out right now. So expect to see a big move coming up very soon uh, into this range at a very minimum. If there's bullish momentum, then it'll be even better. Now, um, guess what? Used to be 6.79 trillion. Total supply has now been lowered to 6.52 trillion. Now, doesn't affect the circulating supply, of course, but uh, it does affect the overall total supply. We've now uh, got rid of gotten rid of a significant portion. Uh, that was a 251, a 251 billion that we did the other day. So uh, we are seeing a reduction over there, which of course, 129 million in volume. When you look at the markets, you'll you'll know. Uh, you'll you'll know, of course, that most of that is going to be in Binance. But look at that. BTCC is the big mover for the day, which is a little bit wild. Um, now we don't have their reserve data available, and uh, I, I'm you know, I'm not sure I'm not sure about that volume. But Binance has a huge amount of volume, and so does uh, Binance um, with this pairing right here, TRY. So uh, that means more burns. And as long as we get a lot of burns out of Binance every month, cool story, bro, right? Um, no. So down 44% on USTC. We did see that big, big move up to 2.6. Now, what did that look like on the chart? I mean, look, I told you guys, I don't know how this is going to play out. This little red line here for me was always sort of a resistance sort of area here. Like hopefully we get a bounce off of it. And as you can see, we did. Uh, we came back down here and we're testing this on the daily. We're testing the 50 MA one more time. Uh, could be a breakout. Uh, I, I do suspect that we're going to see that breakout. Uh, we just haven't seen it yet. But I mean, when you kind of zoom around here and you look, then it would make sense that, you know, there's got to be a, a full play out here. Now, the reason that there isn't a full play out, first of all, the market is dipping, of course. But more, more importantly, we haven't seen the real layout of Ceramics full proposal so that we can kind of parse it, uh, take it apart or really not us, but Strathcole, maybe a couple of these guys, Happy Caddy Crypto. Once they see it, they can break it apart and they can give us sort of an idea of what they think. And then we can take from that. 
well, we will, about the possibility of this thing working. But in 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 terms of Strathcole and Happy Caddy Crypto, congratulations to these guys because the reverse tax charge has been done and the testing and support has been done as well. Uh, also, the request for coin market dashboard access to be transferred to all nodes is almost at the pass threshold, so expect that to pass. There's really been very little objection to it. There's actually been one no with veto. Um, let's look at who put no with veto. That would be Mandalorian and BL nodes. Make sure that you are investing or you are staking with people as you need to based on that. I don't know if you're yes or no or if this even matters to you, but if it does, then consider Mandalorian and BL nodes voting no. Um, and then you've got no with veto. There's nobody there. And you got nobody with Epstein. So, um, you know, I, I would just, whatever you want to do. So back to the price action, uh, USTC on a little bit of a dip, uh, but again, still pumping uh, for the long term. And you can see right here, um, uh, again, we still need to get that 1.8 billion from LFG right here, 1.8 billion. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be too, do too much, but also we've got this 290 million sitting in the TFL wallet still and stake bin. Uh, you know, we had that big, big burn two days ago, uh, 49 million yesterday, which is actually a pretty significant amount. Uh, and then you have the 21 million so far today, uh, insignificant amounts on USTC. Where does that leave us? 355 million burned in the last seven days. That's still significant, by the way. Remember, we're talking about 180 to 250 million that gets burned every seven days. We're at 355 million right now. So that's a significant bump to our supply. And if you remember, um, go, going back that, that one day right there where we got 165, you, know, you take 165 out and just say, you know, the normal is about 20 to 30. Uh, you take that out. That's a hundred and let's call it 120 less, 120 less puts us right where we were before. So we want to continue to see big burns like that. And, um, that's going to be just really good for the ecosystem. Continue to reduce the supply. Go to Terra Casino for all of your risk-based gaming needs. Uh, right now, there is the multiplier rush for $3,000 from November 11 to November 17. You're going to have about six days to get that sponsored by B Gaming. And then, of course, through uh, December 22nd, 2 million euros being given away. Make sure that you sign up today and you know the coins, you know the tokens that it goes through. So uh, if you're trading meme coins, Terraport is your place to go. You can go anywhere, by the way, anywhere that supports this the, the ecosystem. But this is the best place. <clears throat> Congratulations, by the way, to Terraport yesterday. Over $1 million in trade volume. Guys, that is huge. Okay, uh, considering the fees and considering the fact that Terraport is one of the bigger burn um, yields in this ecosystem, then this is a big thing, especially for uh, you know what we're trying to do and what we're trying to accomplish, which is burn a significant portion of the supply. So, um, big time move there. Thank you so much for everybody who's contributing. And uh, we got two days left on our unlock over here on my launch pad, about 8,300, 83, 8,450. So we're almost there where I'll have enough that, that we'll start the, uh, we'll start this thing over the next couple of days. So that's it. That's your update, guys. I do think that we're going to have a breakout. We are cooling down right now because we just pumped so hard over the last couple of days since Donald Trump was elected president. This is the calm before a storm. If you've looked at the charts from 2020 after the last election where Joe Biden won, if you look at that and you see just kind of the, you know, we're doing the same thing. We really are. Um, the the it, 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 History doesn't always repeat, but it often rhymes. And what we're seeing right now is a pretty good rhyme with that ecosystem when it was happening. We're starting to get policies and, and things like that from the Trump administration. So um, buckle up, guys, because this is going to be the bull run to end all bull runs, and you are at the beginning of it right now. So I would expect to see a huge pump in Luna Classic at some point very, very soon. The final piece to this is I want to add Bitcoin has to eat first. That is the rule for everything. Bitcoin will eat first. Some of us will get dragged along, but once that money is made on Bitcoin, then they will start investing in altcoins and then they will start investing in meme coins. And somewhere in that alt to meme sort of area, Luna Classic falls. People will recognize this ecosystem once again. They will see the money being made. They will see the opportunity right here. They love a comeback story and this thing is going to go parabolic very, very soon. So glad you're in. We'll talk to you again very, very soon. And remember, it's not financial advice, but I'm always right.